Hello, my awesome and amazing Pisces. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. Let's see what's going on in the overall energy dynamics, calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Piscean viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. And of course, rolling the dice to see what I need to shuffle a deck to. Power of number nine. Power of number five. And power of number eight. Okay. Looks like we are going to the number 22. Some of you Pisces are dealing with a Virgo or a Libra born in the month of September. You could also be dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini born in the month of May. You could also be dealing with a Leo or a Virgo born in the month of August. You could also be dealing with an Aquarius or possibly a Pisces born in the month of February. Now, that's not to say that a lot of you Scorpio, or well, you could be dealing with Scorpio. However, um, that's not to say that you Pisces weren't born in the month of March because you certainly were. Some of you were born in 1952, 1958, or 1959 for my more mature audience. Some of you could have been born in 1982, 1985, or 1989. You could have also been born in 1992, 1995, or possibly 1998 for some of you. Okay, We could see the Hermit card kick in, possibly the Hierophant along with the Strength card and or possibly the High Priestess card. So going to the power of number 22 for the beautiful star sign of Pisces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21 and 22. Okay. Trusted ancestors of my Piscean viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective energy, please? What does Pisces need to know at this time frame? Show me what's up. <clears throat> wow. Some kind of over the rainbow moment. There could be family dynamics that are going on right now. Pisces that could really be, you know, pulling at your heartstrings or you're wait. You're at that point in your life where you're waiting for that over the rainbow moment. So some of you do have children, okay? So right now with the holidays and everything, um, you know, this could be the time that you're, you know, getting together with friends or family members, et cetera. But who's to say? Maybe some of you guys are going through a lot of mixed emotions with your family. You could have recently lost a loved one that will not be joining for this Christmas, you know? So could have been a loss of a parent, maybe a grandparent, a special aunt, maybe an uncle, but again, it's like trying to find that silver lining right now to have that over the rainbow moment. Or there's somebody here, Pisces, that views you as their over the rainbow moment and they would love to be with you. Let's see what the Ten of Cups is bringing in. Beautiful strength card. Power of number eight came up on the third roll of the dice. You could be dealing with a Leo or a Virgo born in the month of August. Getting some kind of courage or strength. Maybe you are the sole support foundation of your family right now. And you may consider yourself like the cellular glue that kind of just holds everybody together in the midst of any form of chaos. So reserving your energy... Um, some of you Pisces are single right now and you're still, you know, waiting for Mr. or Ms. Wright to come into your life. What is strength for Pisces? The world card. 
closing out old karmic patterns and cycles. This can also talk about genealogy. This can also talk about going back into time, building up your family tree line. Some of you have great grandparents that were kings and queens of particular countries. So you got to do your research. Okay. But this can also talk about pregnancy, but you could be dealing with another Pisces or possibly an Aries born in the month of March or possibly a Libra or a Taurus more specifically, because those two zodiac signs can represent the Empress card. Something about a fresh new start or a big new beginning. This can also talk about a new job situation Maybe a job opportunity that is going to allow you to travel. A lot of you also feel that you were meant to be in the spotlight or to be known globally around the world for whatever it is that you do, a product, a service, a talent, okay? However, closing out old karmic patterns and cycles, you know, there could have been also at one point in time a marriage that has failed. You could still be going through a healing phase, a healing process. Some of you could even be in therapy right now and um, trying to release the, the karma and the toxic uh, trauma out of your body so that you start to feel like you're whole and complete again. Right now, a lot of you may feel very close to your mother or you're closing out a cycle with a mother figure possibly. Um, there could have also been tumultuous situations between you and your parents. You could have went through a lot of toxic narcissistic abuse with your mother or your father, possibly your siblings. But it's really about searching for that over the rainbow moment or that silver lining. And I do feel that your trusted ancestors will reward you. But this can also talk about maybe your attitude or your mindset right now. Okay. Some of you guys have, you know, sunk into a deep depression before. And um, this can even talk about figuring out what is your soul's purpose. Thinking about the, you know, we're closing out a chapter of our life. Whatever 2023, that was a chapter of your life, okay? And each month was like a different moment in time and space where certain events happened. How did it affect you? Did it make you grow stronger, okay? Did you become stronger? Did you become bolder? Did you learn how to take back your personal power in 2023, What is the world for Pisces? The Knight of Cups in this deck, it's the Prince of Cups. So there's some flirtatious energy that's coming in, or this is a new soulmate, a new soulmate that wants to head in your direction, give you a token, a gift, a love offer, a gesture, maybe even take you out for dinner. Somebody's in love with you. That they're taking their time. Patience. Something here about patience. Some of you could have put yourself on, you know, online dating platforms. Maybe you feel it's not exactly working out for you. And maybe you feel like you need some kind of like a, a new strategy. Um, you could feel very indifferent right now about the dating world. But recently I have been mentioning, because some of you guys are newer to my channel, um... You may want to consider, you know, it takes a little bit of money, but you may want to start considering, you know, if, if you're feeling fed up with like the online dating and wondering when Mr. Right or Ms. Right's coming into your life and feeling like you're searching through a needle in a haystack, okay, you may want to consider, you may want to consider hiring a professional matchmaker. I feel that the professional matchmaking business is going to go to a new wave of helping people to connect with like-minded people and also professionals. You may need, Pisces, somebody who is more professional, more stable, okay? Somebody who is seriously looking for commitment, and that they're being, they're going through the interview process. A lot of times with these professional matchmakers, they have to do background checks on that person, you know? So 
there might be a service maybe within a 50 mile radius that is something to think about. It doesn't mean it has to be the be all end all, but if you consider yourself a very professional person and really looking for a solid and stable partner, but needing that type of guidance, um, to help you to determine really more so what you're looking for, professional matchmaking might be the way for you. And it can provide a sense of emotional, a little bit of emotional safety. You know, because then they would have to interview you and you'd have to submit applications and things like that. You know what I mean? So, it's an option. On the other hand, I do feel that there is a specific person that you've been dealing with. So whether you are in separation with a wife or a husband, or um, if this is somebody that you've had very strong feelings for, you know, very strong interest, but maybe they haven't exactly, you know, given you the same regard, etc. I'm going to go into the Hidden Truth Oracle on them. Some of you are dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or possibly another water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. ancestors for Pisces dealing with a specific person what does this person want to say to Pisces please I lost myself for a little while this could be somebody that your person you know whether there was a long-term committed partnership or if this was somebody that you had high hopes for or that you wanted to, to see yourself walk down the aisle etc this person lost themselves in the connection it was because either they were feeling very insecure about themselves, they could have projected this insecurity on you, they could have been, you know, back and forth, not exactly knowing what they wanted. Um, I do feel that there was some clinginess, like clingy, needy, codependency that was going on. And I'm hearing the phrase from Spirit, somebody was a gold digger, just FYI. I knew exactly what I was doing. Mm -hmm. So whether this person cheated on you or they put you into separation with them or whatever sneaky behavior that they had, that they did to you, th that was planned. That was planned, unfortunately, because they knew exactly what they were doing. We both know I'm not the one for you. Too much going back and forth. I may have emotional cards that are showing me commitment, especially with the Ten of Cups. But when I have the World card, the World card is about an ending, okay? An ending that needs to happen in order for the new person to come in and to be able to grow in a timely fashion that feels safe, that feels good, that in truth really feels right. This person, this new person coming in is going to love you unconditionally. You could have felt that the connection that you had with this other person was conditional love. I am becoming a better person. It might be too little too late though, Pisces. Especially if this person was delaying things and procrastinating things. It's one thing, let's say for example, there's a person that, a spouse or a future spouse or um, a potential suitor. And maybe they're down and out on their luck with their money, their career, their finances. Okay. 
somebody's not going to walk away just because their finances in truth it's a really lame excuse if they do because if anything you could have showed this person that you were very highly supportive of them or you know what i mean and but yet this person still might not have felt good enough for you and so then the lack conscious mentality came in in some scenarios and then another reason for the excuse to let you go they were losing themselves because of X, Y, and Z reasons, thinking that they weren't good enough for you. Okay. And I don't feel when I say that, that that was because Pisces, you were trying to demand or expect, you know, everything all at once. But a lot of times people who are very insecure, they will run from a connection because they're, they're not, if they see you up here and they're down here, they don't know how to get to here and they may think that you're not going to be patient with them. So that could have been another reason. The other reason too is that somebody could have had another full family behind the scenes that you didn't know about. But a lot of times with the world card, this can also show me that there was a karmic marriage. There was also a karmic girlfriend, boyfriend situation, girlfriend and girlfriend, boyfriend and boyfriend. Karma can come through the world card. And they knew exactly what they were doing. So they, they put a stop. We both know I'm not the one for you. The reason why it's because they may not have learned some particular cycle and they have yet to get their karma. They have yet to get their karma. So spirit is trying to push you for some of you guys, push you out of your comfort zone to allow this new person to come in that's going to show you the unconditional love that's not going to probably judge you or make you feel slighted or ghosted rejected whatever the case may be whatever your scenario is because there's all these intricate details of your personal story but it might be too late when the ex or the former potential lover or suitor comes in, you may already start to build and grow a new connection that is bringing you some form of solace or some form of peace of mind and peace of heart to where you feel now energetically balanced. So spirit saying it's okay to let this person go. It's okay to get a divorce from them so you don't feel stuck or trapped Okay, that you don't feel stuck or trapped. And, and they're showing me here, nobody nobody ha is having guilt here. Your, your soon-to-be ex or your former lover, they're not even showing me guilt or remorse because they knew exactly what they were doing. So in a situation like that, you have to be the one, my beautiful Pisces, to give yourself the closure because a lot of times people who were in their ego or in their toxicities, they're not going to recognize you that you are worthy or that you are valuable enough to give you some kind of closure. They're not going to do it. Their closure, unfortunately, was when they walked away from the marriage, from the connection, all of that. That was their closure because they were too cowardly. They were too cowardly to face you and be truthful and authentic and transparent. Bottom line. So your over the rainbow moment starts with you. It starts with your emotional regulation and your thought process. Controlling, watching your thoughts watching your thoughts because there were probably karmic family members that were making you feel guilty, making you feel guilty about your choices, your decisions. And maybe when it came to your emotions, people could have poo pooed you to think that you're the bad guy or you're the bad person, the bad lady for 
making certain decisions for your marriage, for your partnership, for your kids, whatever the case may be. There's always been somebody in your family, Pisces, that has always tried to put in their freaking two cents, okay? They need to shut up, honestly. They really, truly do. They need to shut the F up. Bottom line. Just saying. So, they have to. Because I feel like you... In my mind, I'm seeing the Eight of Swords mentality. There are people in your family that have made you question who you are as a person in regards to whatever this connection is. And it's like maybe some of you are screaming on the inside because you want to break free and really not have this heavy burden on you anymore. And you're tired of, you know, some of you may feel like you just want to escape. Maybe you have children and you just want to escape with your children and just go build a life somewhere else, you know, especially... But a lot of you are definitely probably not going to do that. But the thing is, is, you know, this is about you rebuilding, rebuilding your life, planting new seeds, learning how to love yourself again, learning to know that there is true love out there for you again. And you can have that over the rainbow moment where the skies are blue and the bluebirds are singing and coming into your power feeling good again, feeling on top of the world and having a new person that will meet and match you on every single level that in truth you're really looking for. But like I said, some of you, you know, might want to consider in the future, like professional matchmaking. So you're not going through the online dating bull crap. You know what I mean? For you single Pisces out there. And even if you're not single, but Something's going on, there's an ending coming, or you know that there's an ending coming, you know, and thinking about, well, where do I start all over again? Well, once you go through your healing phase, then you might want to consider hiring a professional to meet and match you up with somebody who is very much like-minded or similar or could have similar interests. You know what I mean? But I do feel, Pisces, a lot of you have been taken advantage of by your friends, your family members. Um... Maybe even your children, you know, you may feel like you don't get the love or the respect from your kids for some of you. There's something better here for you, Pisces. It's just a matter of you getting back into that solar plexus, that, that strength that center central point of your 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 body which would be the stomach area because that's where we hold a lot of tension we can hold a lot of tension in our neck our throat area but a lot of times too if you're going through a lot of gut issues or bloating or anything like that that is because you're not in your perfect power and control you could be stress eating right now um, yo-yo dieting things like that you know and not being in perfect harmony perfect sync and these relationships that you have gone through that have been toxic, wishing maybe that something was going to turn around. I hate to say it, but sometimes they don't turn around. You have to be the change. You are the over the rainbow moment. You are the one that's going to create the life that you need, the life that you want, and the life that you need and want for your children with or without this person and or being single even without children, you creating the type of lifestyle that you want and then being with somebody that's going to meet and match you on that same frequency because it's important to you on a spiritual soul level. Okay, so my awesome and amazing Pisces, if you would like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant Victoria will book you for that personal reading. But until next time, take care.